Just really quick before we start the video, I just want to mention this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Upgrade or anyone else. According to my last working brain cell, I should be in bed now and get well again because I'm ill. In fact, I am that ill that I cancelled a trip for this weekend, or for today, that I had planned with some friends. But when this came in, I couldn't resist to film a video. So let's see, it could get interesting. As the name says, or the tag says, it's the upgrade 39 that we open today. And I am looking forward to what is inside today. I hope it is something halfway simple, but we will see now. Ooh, what are you? Textile? We have something textile today. Permanent ink for fabrics. Store horizontally. Okay. I guess you are fabric paint as well. You look a little bit separated. And we really have... Okay, I guess it's the art print and it's a bag, but <laughs> this looks cool. And I do like the idea. I will uh, go through the bottle post and then we will come up with something we can make. See you then. So, I have an idea. And because I need to work in multiple layers, it is perfect for being not so fit. Let's get rid of all of this and we need this and this. Don't mind that it's slightly... This one is far too small for what I have in mind. So we will switch to a bigger one. My biggest concern is... So, first of all, I want to use these kind of like watercolors. I want to thin them out because they are water-based, but because this is fabric, it would mean that everything that is too watery will run underneath these. So I want to put a thick layer or not watered down layer around to create kind of a barrier and then <laughs> take um, some water and put it towards the middle and make it be thinner and thinner towards the middle or more watercolory towards the middle. And I hope that this way I can prevent the leakage underneath the lines that we made here. So the idea is because this month's um, topic is show who you are. I would consider myself someone who is quite creative and messy at the same time. So I want to have a sketched version of a person, not particular myself, <laughs> sitting in the middle sketching and the pages flowing around with the sketches on top of them. And I want at the moment that the idea is to have this background how I already talked about and then have the person sitting here and being very sketchy made with the black marker that is that has disappeared oh there it is 
Um, yeah, so sketched out with this. And the pages, maybe the person as well, having white underneath. So you, it, it looks more like being sketched out on paper. And then the paper pieces flowing around, being white as well, with sketches on them. And there I will put down different things. It will depend on how thin the tip is. And yeah, we will see. But that is my plan of attack at the moment. And because we have some more dr drying times, first the layer I will put down now, then the white, and then the black, I think we should. Yeah, it will take some time. Yeah, and then why not? Just let's remove the tape and hope for the best. Well, that gives a nice border. Now we leave this to dry and then we will see how the rest of it will work. Wish me luck. <laughs> so, for me, it will take some time. For you, we just switch to the dried back. What I'm doing right now is just... First, I want to sketch out a little bit what I have in mind. And then I want to sketch the main part, the main figure on this one. So I can then cut it out and get the surface as white as possible and then I can set a sketch on top of it again. put this one here because then I can put papers here everywhere. I think you get what I want. just have to say the paint smells like cleaning supplies. So, next drying time. I think we will see us tomorrow.
after this was dry, I put a second coat onto it. And after that was dry, I popped it into it, uh, into the oven for uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes by 150 degrees Celsius. And recommended was putting it in the oven for five minutes. I doubled the amount because the second layer was not dry yet. At least not completely dry. So that is that. And when you look at this, you get the feeling that I don't know how paper works. <laughs> so. Some more sketch lines, I think, will make sense. Because we want this to have a sketchy feeling to it. So, um, because the book is going under a little bit in the pencil, I think I want to make at least the cover brown as well as the pen pencil whatever so that it's a little bit easier to read as book and pencil yeah. I'm not sure about the book but yeah you get the idea because I explained it to you <laughs> if anyone who see this will get the idea we will see So, now, let's start with this one. So, as the very last step, I think I want to take these two. The brown was used, so everything is fine. And I think I want to take them and use them to write just yeah some random words that come to my mind when I think about the question, who I am. So, yeah, I try to write them in English, <laughs> a lot of them might be wrong in the end, but who cares? Final thoughts, everyone. So, when I opened the box, I was quite annoyed because I thought, oh, hell no. Fabric paint. I hate fabric paint. 
But I have to say it worked quite nice and I do like the product that I have here. Normally fabric paint is something I avoid <laughs> like the plague. Um, I do use it sometimes in my dolls, but if I can avoid it, I will. For that, I think what I was able to achieve here turned out quite nice. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below, and I hope we will see us in another video. Have a great time, and until then, bye.